Hey everyone, we're going to be applying Venn diagrams to a real life application of discrete math. Now, this is problem seven, which can be found in your free online discrete math textbook, and I'll leave a link in the description. We're in section 1.2 right now. All right, let's get started. So, according to the setup, we have this universe of all these students at a university. So, this box represents all students at a university, and there are three different types of students, it looks like, day students, mathematics majors, and graduate students. And then there's everyone else outside of these three things, because not everyone is one of those things in a university, right? So let's try to shade the following sets. We're going to try to interpret what these words mean in terms of this Venn diagram. We're going to be projecting this applied problem onto this picture. So let's start with evenings. So let's start with evening students. Well, evening students are not day students. And so everything outside of day. So all these math majors, all these grad students, and all these other majors and stuff that are all evening students. All of these are evening students. So this region would represent evening students. What about undergraduate math majors? So now it's not graduate and they're in math. So it can't be in this graduate region. We can't be in there. And it has to be in this math region right here. And so the only region I have left over is everything in M that's not in G. So we have some day students that are math students. And we have some math students who are evening students. And, but none of them are grad students because we're only specifically working with undergraduate math majors. Let's keep going. Next up, we have non-math graduate students. So because we're working with graduate students, we're going to be in this region right here. And we need non-math students. And so that's everyone outside of M. But we need something, we need the elements that satisfy both the red region and the green region here, the intersection between the two, because they need to be both non-math and graduate students. So for that reason, the intersection would be just this green region right here. And so that green region would be non-math graduate students. We would have to cut away this red region because we don't want math students. All right, part D. In this case, we're working with non-math undergraduate students. Now, undergraduate students are anyone outside of graduate students. I need to make sure I stay in my universe here because technically right now I'm not. And it also has to be non-math students. And so everything outside of the math circle here. So we need the regions that contain both green and purple. So that looks like everything in these blue regions right here would represent part D. Anyways, thanks everyone, and I'll see you all in the next video.